Good morning, everybody. Good morning. If you are hopping on, give me a heart or a like to let me know that you're here. I am having some issues with my internet again today. I don't see anybody working down the street, so I'm not quite sure why. Usually it's because they've been working down the street. So if you're here and you see the red live button, that means you're catching me live. Yes, just give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, let me know you're here. Um, is everybody seeing me okay and hearing me okay? I'm having, I was having a little bit of trouble getting on this morning. I don't know if it's my phone, it just did an update last night, so. Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna give it about a minute, see who hops on, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, great, everybody's starting to hop on. You can hear me, you can see me, great. Okay, so give me a minute. Um, as you can see, I'm printing. <laughs> so I was, I thought I was ready, but um, one of my prints was messed up. So I am printing again. So give me a minute, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Should be okay. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so let's make sure we can get y'all see in here. I'm still good here. Everybody can still hear me and see me. Um, my phone did an update last night and I'm thinking maybe that's why I'm having such major issues. Like my phone was a disaster this morning, even just with the alarms that I have set. Okay, um, first I wanna say, I wanna thank every one of you for, um, a lot of you have private messaged me, have sent some well wishes and um, your thoughts and prayers for this weekend. It was a difficult weekend, but uh, we're here today. So every day, right, is uh, a new day, one day at a time. So um, for most of you know that my dad passed on Friday. I was actually scheduled to do the live and then I got the call from my mom to, that I needed to hurry up and go over, so. But um, we're here today. So we're taking one day at a time. Um, I was fortunate I got to, I live very close to my dad uh, and my mom. They just live right up over the hill, probably like mm, top five minutes tops and that's tops. So I was able to spend many days with him. So, uh, but uh, in the end, um, you know, he had cancer and he was suffering. So. Uh, even though we hate to see people go, it's, um, he's no longer in pain. And he had a really, cancer is usually uh, very painful, and his was as well. So, um, you know, he's no longer in pain, and I have peace with that as well. So, thank you everybody for your prayers and for your thoughts. Okay, so moving on, uh, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. Thought I was ready for to this morning's live. I had some things printed out, and of course my printer was, uh, had to fill up some inks and stuff. <laughs> and it was just a disaster for a minute there. Okay, so what we are doing today are, look how adorable these are. These are the book pillows, uh, the billow, pillow cases. I don't know if any of you have seen these. Um, these are so adorable. So these make great gifts. And um, Christmas coming around, I think these would be awesome sellers at any of the craft shows that um, anybody's doing. Um, you could print these if you like to do print on demand right at your craft shows, which I will say 
I love those. They're a little bit more difficult to get set up, obviously. But I love to go to a craft show, whether or not somebody's doing um, painting on, you know, like doing, adding your name to something, hand painting something, adding personalization right at the shows. I love those. They're a little bit more work, but I will tell you, I go to lots of craft shows. Those are usually the ones when they are doing personalization right on the spot. They're the ones that have the longest wait lines and the longest, um, just the most sales. And that's just from my experience, what I see around in my area. Um, you know, and where the truth holds, where there's a line and there's a gathering, people want to see and it will bring more people to it. So if you can do these at a craft show, if you're interested, I'm going to do a buy-in later for these. Um, if you can do these as a print or a personalization right, on, um, right at your craft show, these would probably do well. If not, these are great gifts. These would be great for baby showers, um, any children at Christmas time, anything like that. So we are going to do these today. And the buy-in that I have, I'm going to post it around noon. I only have um, an order in for 300 of them. So it's going to be very limited quantities. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more before the holiday season. So if you're interested in them, I'm just going to let you know that you need to grab as many as you think that you may need. Um, these are, I am going to show you, these are the best quality pillow covers I have ever handled or ever had or ever used. I've got some really good ones, but I'm going to tell you, if I could get every pillow cover made out of these, I would. These are just, um, it's like a poly linen. They are 100% polyester. I'm pretty sure it's 100%. I'm gonna look. I don't know what they say in the inside. They are 95% polyester, 5% cotton. And um, these sub beautifully. So the best, they are the best, the thickest quality in a pillow cover that I have ever personally handled, used, or anything for sublimation. So I love these. I'm going to try and find these in um, just the pillow cover itself uh, without the book pillow. So I'm going to be trying to look for those as well. Um, the sizes are, they're 12 by 12. They're like 11, a little, uh, very, they're just under 12. 12 inches by 12 inches so um, the 12 inch pillow inserts fit them perfectly and I will tell you I get them from Walmart that is the place that I found where you can get them in four packs 12 packs um, the most inexpensive for the pillow cup uh, inserts and oops these are the inserts that I get and I want to say they are the Crafters Premium. I threw the thing away. Let me see. Yeah. I think that they're, they're the Crafters Choice. Um, I like them because they're not super stiff, but yet they're pretty full. So I do get these from Walmart.com. And I get them, like I said, I usually get them in four packs or 12 packs. So if you want to stuff with them, you can. You can always get it at Joann's, Michael's Hobby Lobby. They always have them as well. I just found that Walmart.com has the best um, insert, like the most inexpensive with the, with the okay, like a good quality on them. Um, you have a craft event in November 2nd. Do you think they will be here by then? Um, let me think. I ordered them on Saturday, I think. And there was a two to possibly three weeks out for the order to come in. Um, they could be sooner, they could be later. They are coming from overseas and they are on a holiday at this moment, or they just passed a holiday, so shipping's a little bit behind at the moment. So um, it would be cutting it very close. I'm going to say, what date are we on? It will probably be here by the end of the month, but 
don't um, quote me on that because I would hate to say yes and you order you know 20 of them and they're not so we're gonna be cutting it close with that date I will say they will definitely be here by the second week of November um, I'm hoping they'll even be here before then but I don't want to say yes they will be and they not so just keep that in mind if you do order them we'll hope for the best um, to get them in okay so I showed you what um, I have a few designs this design and my designs currently are still 30% off in my shop until this evening at 11:59 p.m. I am Eastern Standard Time I get a lot of people saying oh you took that design down um, Nika my dog's growling at the cat next door um, that you took that design down or your designs went off and it's only nine o'clock here you have to remember I am on Eastern Standard Time I'm in Pennsylvania so these are still on sale so if you're interested just go to the um, children's designs I got quite a few and I will tell you here was here's another one that I did and this was one of my boo-boos this morning my oops I always say that goes into my oops bin I had to refill my inks this morning and I did not realize I had a little drop that dropped on my counter when I did and there you go that is sublimation ink and you know once the inks on there it's on there I've tried scrubbing it out figuring oh I didn't heat press it um, no it's there and for some reason I cannot get it out so this is going to my oops bin um, it happens I told you you know I'm not beyond that I still mess up a lot of things and um, this design is also in my children's designs. And let me tell you, I would not say that these are just for children. I am gonna gear some of them toward um, some adults as well, because I even think that I would like them on my couch, uh, my living room couch. So uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's get started with these, okay? I wanted to show you, I mean, this quality is awesome. There's a zipper in the bottom for your insert. These are really thick, so thick that you do not even need um, the paper, the blowout paper, the butcher paper in between for your designs because they do not transfer from one to the other. They have liners. So the liner is in each, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing this you. So this is a liner that, so when you press to this, it will not transfer to this. But I'm one of always precautions, so I do put those in sometimes. Okay, so let me see if I have, I'm gonna go to my trusty book because I was doing some yesterday, different ones. Okay, so I'm doing these ones. 395 for 50 seconds and light pressure. See, now that would be, Kaylin, that's, that's an awesome idea. Yeah, I'm trying to gear these also toward children and adults. So, uh, with sublimation, anybody that's new, always cover your surface. We call it blowout paper. That's what some people refer it to, and that what that means is, any of your excess ink will not be transferred to anything else. So, but really it's just butcher paper. You can use parchment paper. Butcher paper is um, the most inexpensive way to go. I just went on Sunday and bought some new, uh, a whole new roll. And um, I usually get it at GFS. I went out early in the morning, they were closed. So I went to Sam's Club and it was actually $5 cheaper there. Um, you can get a thousand feet for $20. So butcher paper and then I did pre press this already because when you get them they are going to kind of be folded up into each other and then uh, folded in half so I just wanted to kind of press these lines out okay and I always recommend pre pressing I know a lot of people like to lint roll I don't just because sometimes I think I've personally found that lint rolling lifts some of the fibers and then it even makes it, I've gotten more fibers coming out when I lint roll. So I'm not a lint roll girl. Uh, I just kind of like to shake mine off. I know, I'm probably taking chances here. And I do put a pressing pillow in between. 
And like I said, you can put a, I just like to always be cautious. And I'm gonna do some butcher paper in between. You do not have to, the last, those two that I just pressed there that I showed you, I did not use butcher paper. Um, but I'm not trying to get any extra ink. If I would have any laying around here, which you see I did this morning. Okay, so I am using a pressing pillow. I recommend that when you're pressing fabric. It just, these will have some thick seams in here along the sides where the fabric is folded in. This is gonna raise this up right here and um, give a better press. And then all I'm using is, I have several of these and I did find them, someone had mentioned to find them on Amazon and they are cheaper on Amazon. It's the Cricut pressing pillows the heat pressing pad, and it's actually, they're made for the easy press, but I use these. Um, I love them, and they come in several sizes. This is the 12 by 12. Okay, and then I am going, I already have some of these cut out. All right, and you're looking at this, this is actually in mirrored image, but because I'm showing to you on the, calendar, on the um, camera, it is, looks like it's straightforward, but it's not. So mirror your images. This design is also in, um, I listed it last night, it is in my Etsy shop. This is actually going for my grandson. So we're just going to line it up. 395, 50 seconds light pressure. I'm just gonna Do a small piece of heat tape. Let me get this lined up here. Now I'm working upside down. Usually I have this all done and then I bring it over to my press, but I'm working upside down for you guys. And then the paper on top so we do not transfer. Always make sure paper on top of your um, design so that it doesn't get onto your heat press and then transfer to other images. Light pressure, 50 seconds. Um, what would these sell for? I'm selling them for 20. I usually sell my other pillow um, covers that I do, my double-sided ones for around 18. So I'm selling these for 20. Um, they are, wait till you get these in your hands. They're top quality. I've never felt such a thick pillowcase, um, pillow cover like these. These are, these are by far my favorite so far that I've had. So I'm gonna say $20. Um, but of course you're gonna price them accordingly. There's some craft shows in this area that I would probably go to that I probably could not get $20 for. So you need to figure out your material cost, your time cost, um, and then, you know, the area that you're going into. I'm sure that will fluctuate. As you can see, this is the reason why I say use the paper on the top, because this would actually go to the top of your plate, your heat press plate, and then it would transfer onto another, onto your next image. Look, I mean, these are so vibrant. These turn out so nice. And I actually love, love, love these. So there you go. Um, and then I, I'm going to tell you, um, you could probably have a few of these already made up if you choose to take to a craft show. And then if you wanted to, for quick personalization, you could add a child's name like in the corner. Um, you could, $20 only pillow cover, yes. Um, I am doing the $20 um, pillow cover with the insert, no, not with the insert. 
The insert's going to be separate. So it's just going to be, literally, it's just going to be the, um, the pillow cover itself. Give me one second. I have somebody that I see outside in the yard, so I want to see what that's about. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, that was kind of strange. There was someone just walking in our alley, which we live on a dead end, so that was kind of weird. I was like, what are they doing? But it looks like they were doing some insurance stuff for the neighbor. Okay. <laughs> so, um, sorry about that. I kind of got distracted in some of your comments here. Okay. $20 only pillow cover or with the insert too? Okay, so I am only doing just the pillow cover. Um, and then they can go ahead and choose to do the insert. You can keep inserts if you want, or you can choose to put them in. Like I said, um, this is what you need to, um, decide on your own. Okay. Um, <laughs> hello, Jensen. When you left, he started fussing. That's so cute. Um, boy, kids love that technology, don't you? Um, okay, so here is one of the designs that I do have, and that's in there, and then I was printing this morning. Let me see if my print got, I might have printed this too big. I did. Okay, so just, um, I'm going to actually personalize these for my grandchildren, um, and what I, this I printed way too big. I don't know what I was doing this morning. I was just having major issues. But I just took my grandson's name, because this is going to be his pillowcase. And then the meaning of it, I was just going to put this on the back. So it would be double-sided. Then I figured, even as he got a little bit older and he kind of outgrew the, maybe the babyish image, he could put, you know, I would have his name here and the meaning of his name. This could still sit on his bed, sit on a chair in his room. And then if he ever wanted to hide stuff or anything like that, it could always be put in, in that. So that's an idea for that. Um, so definitely personalize these at your craft shows or if you offer them online. Okay, so um, oops. I'm going to do one for my granddaughter. I'm going to just pre-press. press these I'm only just pressing them for about 10 or 15 seconds and really I'm just trying to get this a little bit flattened out and then this is the other design that I have and like I said I'm gonna add a few others okay Um, Stephanie, I'm going to be doing a buy-in for these. Okay, so. And again, I'm doing this upside down, so I'm trying not to be crooked. I am an eyeballer. I don't usually, <laughs> I'm not one for measuring. Sometimes you have to measure things, but 
I do a lot of eyeballing things. Okay, 395, 50 seconds. Um, let me try and go back here and look at some of the questions. How big are they? They're 12 by 12. Thank you, Polly. Um, okay, and someone says she's in a Ma, uh, Kayland, mom's Bible study group. So you was thinking of doing a verse on there. Um, that would be awesome, and they could keep their Bible in there. That would be awesome. Um, so don't, yeah, don't gear these just for kids. I was thinking about doing some um, for, you know, an, an adult. Like, these would be great in a, um, like, for a nursing home, anything like that. You could stick, if you want to take in, um, like, some words, seek and find. You could put those in there that can stay on the patient's bed, um, you know, that, that is there. They, you could put um, a remote in it if you're putting it on a couch. Just really start thinking outside the box for these because these don't necessarily have to be just, uh, okay. Well, here's one of my mess ups. Um, it doesn't have to be just for kids. And my paper shifted a little when I shifted it. As you can see, I got a little shift right there. So just be careful you, um, when you're, I moved my paper to realign it and it had already gotten some heat from the top press. But other than that, it turns out beautifully. These are beautiful. Okay, so um, that's it. These are really easy to do, quick. I would absolutely take these to, um, take them to craft shows with you, do them that way. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I keep uh, catching the, <laughs> the gentleman out the corner of my eye. I'm trying to get some look at some comments here. Um, I am. I'm going to be doing the buy-in for them, so I am going to be posting that. Um, these probably will only ship uh, to the United States um, only because um, of shipping cost. I can always check that for you, but when I start doing anything overseas, and it, the shipping cost is enormous um, unfortunately that you know they they gouge you with shipping when we start shipping overseas but I will say these weigh about um, eight ounces each so these are one of the heavier Paul um, pillowcases covers so just keep that in mind on how many you are ordering for the buy-in um, like I said they're about eight ounces I think I weighed them out they're close to eight ounces so they're nice quality um, teens to hold their journals. Absolutely, that would be awesome. Okay, so are the doors locked? That's creepy. It, they are locked. My doors are always locked, and I have the dog here with me. Um, actually, it's just the neighbor across the street. They had some of their siding blow off. We had some wind to come through, and it looks as though he is kind of giving them a little bit of an estimate on that. So I see him kind of just looking around and he's getting a ladder to go up on the roof now so I'm sure it's just the insurance man because some of their sidings off okay so um, this was a quick straightforward tutorial for you guys this morning if anybody has any questions anything like that you can go ahead and Facebook me you can message me um, and then I'll be doing that post later so, uh, and then get everybody's info and um, I'll get all that out for you, the details of all of that. Okay, so I've been kind of busy the last couple days, haven't really worked through everything yet. So I'm going to go figure all of that out and get that post made for you guys. So if you have any other questions, just message me, okay? Um, that was a quick tutorial, less than I think 35 minutes, so. All right, everybody, you have a great day and then just be checking back around noon.